Hey, g'day. Guess where I went today? If you answered rock shop, <laughs> you'd be right. I ended up buying a bucket of mixed rocks at these ones, as well as a whole lot of big chunky rocks ranging from three to up to five kilos. Um, I will show these in more detail in just a sec. One thing I need to point out though is that I'm no geologist, um, and that will become painfully apparent once I try to describe or name some of the rocks. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. I make videos on all things rock related from collecting to cutting and polishing, along with helpful hints. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing as well as liking, sharing and commenting to help me build my channel. Thank you. All right, starting with the big ones. This I know is a piece of West Australian rhyolite. This weighed about, I think two and a half kilos, three kilos. This is some Wailu agate. I've been hoping to get some of this. It's beautiful. Can't wait to cut that one up. This, uh, I don't know. Um, the shop owner and I decided it was probably Princestone, but n neither of us was sure. But it sure looks like Princestone. Again, it's gonna be great to cut him up. Interesting agony thing. <laughs> you can see there, there's a, a druzy pocket. The rest looks pretty average, but right on the edge where it's been chipped here, there's a druzy pocket, as well as some nice agate bands. Another interesting one to cut. Now this is some nundarite. I've been trying to get a big chunk of nundarite so I can do a whole batch of it. Um, this was uh, in the half price. So instead of 50, that was $25. This was another in the half price. Uh, snakeskin jasper, again, a rock I'm hoping to do a batch of soon. How much was he? $45, so what was that? $22.50. Now this is what I got from the bucket. So some tiger iron, some norina jasper, Doing pretty good so far, aren't I? Uh, possibly some pink opalite. Uh, common opal. I'm pretty sure. It looks like Muka, but I don't think it is. This is amethyst. Obviously. Maybe magnesite. It doesn't seem the same as magnesite. This is definitely verisite. I know that one. Uh, definitely tiger iron. I think everyone knows that. A piece of mookite. Beautiful yellow bands running through there and the white as well. Now that is definitely magnesite. That's what magnesite looks like. The other one didn't have those black snake-like patterns in it. This is moss opalite or common opal. So it's got mossy bits in it. This is a dirty black rock. <laughs> I'm hoping it might be rhodonite. I'll have to crack him open and see what happens. Some more mookite. Yellow with reds and whites. Beautiful. Um... Uh, a sort of scummy bit of amethyst. <laughs> we'll cut this open and see what happens. Uh, pff, here we go. A pink agate thing with green specks. So it's odd this. It's sort of like a, a ruby pink colour with green things in it. Possibly some more pink opalite. But not so pink. More amethyst. That's a definite, that one. That weird bit there. It's like I had a crystal form there. Uh, a green, stripy, frosty rock. How's that? I think that describes it pretty well. And, oh, this is lep lepidolite. Definitely lepidolite, this one. This one, more tiger iron. Some great patterns in these. Uh, this is definitely mookite. It does look similar to that stuff I'm calling the pink opalite, but it just, it looks the same, it's different. Maybe magnesite again. It just does seem different to magnesite. <laughs> An odd sunstone type of rock, but it isn't. There you go. How's that for a description? Now, I think this is mica. <laughs> it flakes very badly. Uh, some crazy lays agate. Nice little piece. What do we got here? Uh, maybe more pink opalite. <laughs> Common opal. Um... Possibly, I think. Now, this is a mookite with that brownie. I think it's called silkrete. I'm not sure. The brown stuff. And lastly, definitely more magnesite. So there you go. Anyone in the Perth area in Western Australia that would like to know about this rock shop, uh, maybe comment or send me an email and I'll give you all the details. Until next time, see ya.